This is a message to all my supporters of this podcast. I'm introducing a new supporters program. You can contribute a small amount as a one-off payment to show your love for this podcast. Thank you in advance for all your contributions. As a small business owner, you're always running, running to a meeting, running errands, running out of time. Now, one thing you don't have to worry about is running payroll. Meet Roll by ADP, a first-of-its-kind chat-based payroll app that's powered by AI. Roll is the faster, easier, smarter payroll app. So don't overthink it and say hello to a whole new way to payroll. Download the Roll by ADP app today or go to getroll.com slash chat. That's G-E-T-R-O-L-L dot com slash C-H-A-T. I just wanted to let you know before we start the podcast that um, I am doing an online uh, podcast course, how to be able to create, um, get your guests, scale it and monetize it. So uh, please do go to abmpodcastcourse.co.uk um, and be it, go into the contact us bit. Um, I'm looking for new people to be able to be a podcast uh, creator and really to be able to develop their skills and knowledge into a podcast. So as I said, go to abmpodcastcourse.co.uk and sign up. Thanks. Hi, this is Mark Hayward from the Absolute Business Mindset Podcast and YouTube channel. So today I want to talk to you about if you want to start a business, if you want to have a startup, um, then you need to be lean at the start. So I'm working with someone currently who is wanting to start a business. And what I've said to him is that keep everything scaled back. So one of the things we talk about in technology and software is an MVP, which is a minimal viable product. So I would say always try and do something simple, something that isn't uh, complex when you're starting. Choose one sector, Choose one one area to focus on, get right, and then you can be able to scale and expand your business. So it's really, really important that you keep your costs down, um, that you keep uh, other people um, it's all right if you've got a co-founder or, or someone that you're working with, but if you're if you you might want to employ some people on part-time or on on contracted hours. Um, If you need something like software built um, or a website or an app or something like that, then you're obviously going to need uh, people uh, to be able to help you um, unless you're a coder. Uh, But the thing is, you want to keep things lean and keep things as very tight as you can at the start. Because really what you're doing is you're testing out whether there is a market, whether there is uh, interest in in, in this as as an idea. Because we can all have ideas about a business, uh, but without some sort of of sense of market research or understanding the market that you're entering, you're not going to be very successful. So you guys that are doing this and or are thinking about doing this, please do start small. Get an MVP, get some alpha or beta testers uh, that are so some so basically that means some clients, maybe for a reduced price, and sort of discuss with them that this is a startup, this is a new business, and we're really just trialing a few things out. I've got a concept, I've got an idea, I've got the people, I'm doing it myself. And uh, and and you'll find if these are friends, family, um, colleagues, ex colleagues, that the, the people that that you're going to help always is the best way of doing it because it means that you're not spending a huge uh, amount of money uh, with sales, marketing, uh, building up the business fast. <clears throat> because what you'll find is if you go too quickly, you can start making mistakes, and then they start being costly. Uh, the worst thing you want as a new business owner uh, of a startup 
is is for your costs to accelerate and escalate out of control. They always are going to increase if you ever want to scale up the business. Um, but you need to be able just to start small. It's a really interesting book called E-Myth. Most people uh, in business have probably read this, but I think it's a really important book to be able to understand the three areas, the the the, 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 the visionary, the entrepreneur, the manager in operations, and then the, the technician, the, the doer of, of what you, you, you want to uh, start. And I think as a, and a startup, you need to be able to understand the, the three different roles that you might be taking up all three of those roles. Uh, but you need to understand when you're doing which, which one, and be able to balance yourself between all three, because you obviously need to be able to do and be able to complete the tasks. Uh, the operation size, the processes, the systems, they develop the larger you get. But you always need that entrepreneurial side, that vision side that's looking for the, the big opportunity. So in your startup, do think of that when you're uh, maybe when you're starting just to take a couple of employees or a couple of co-founders to work with you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so important to keep costs down, uh, understand your market before you start employing, before you start scaling. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the subscribers, all the downloaders, all the listeners of my podcast. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. One last thing before you go, um, I am taking on new coaching clients. So if you are interested, go down to go to my website and go to absolutebusinessmindset.com. Go down to the bottom on to contact us and drop me a note, uh, put in the title that it's for coaching. I've got 13 years worth of corporate experience where I've moved through promotions. Um, I'm really looking for people that are starting their career in the corporate environment, um, are stalling in their career. Um, or want a fresh perspective or a change in role. Um, I'll be able to help all you guys that are in those sorts of positions um, and I'm here to be able to help. So go to absolutebusinessmindset.com, down to the bottom, contact us and just drop in the subject that you want to help on coaching. Thanks.